This is a short film of the nifty thermofluidic pumping engine uh, taken on the 18th of June 2011. Um, the nifty is in this arrangement taking heat from an electrical source taking about one kilowatt of electrical input. Um, this is controlled uh, by a temperature controller um, though it's currently consuming the whole kilowatt available to it at about 89 or 90 degrees centigrade uh, and discharging uh, re releasing its waste heat to a flow rate of water of one liter per minute at uh, 18 degrees inlet temperature and that will be coming out at around 30 degrees uh, cooling water outlet temperature um, the apparatus you can see in front of you is uh, pumping water uh, in an oscillatory fashion into uh, a pressure accumulator um, and there is currently no load on the engine so it's simply <coughs> oscillating at no load uh, and in this configuration it's pumping a, a flow rate of approximately 1300 litres an hour. Um, you can see the coil on the ground which provides some inertia um, in, in the load uh, and you can see the uh, you can see the uh, cooling water inlet rotameter which measures the cooling water flow rate there so I'll just start at the top of the engine and then move down so panning up to the top we can see um, the evaporator so this is the hot part of the heat engine which is why it's insulated heat is supplied in this case by an electrically heated thermosiphon containing a fluid which boils um, at approximately the same temperature as the hot end of the engine um, this is supplied in vapor form through a lagged hose to the top of the engine evaporator where the thermosiphon fluid condenses and the working fluid of the nifty boils uh, and then immediately below that is the water-cooled condenser of the nifty uh, and you can't see any water flowing but you can see some bubbles occasionally this is made from a clear plastic in between the evaporator and the condenser you can see the liquid working fluid level moving up and down in the annular gap through a, um, a plastic window um, and then if we come out you can see the, uh, the main working fluid column in the centre of the nifty moving up and down floating on top of pumped water. Uh, now if we zoom into the feedback valve area which we can use to change the frequency and running conditions uh, and you look carefully you can actually see the liquid vapour interface inside the engine moving up and down through um, the power cylinder wall which is quite thin at that point.